you're about to see me use permanently deactivated training firearms that have been proven safe. If you're going to follow along at home, make sure you unload your firearms and prove them safe before you start practicing these drills. Hey folks, it's Jameson from Range Arts, and today we're going to be talking about trigger control. And one of the best drills to help you master your trigger control is the coin drill. And I'm sure most of you have heard about this before, but today we'll talk about a couple of variations on it and I'll show you how to do this on a couple different firearms. So the purpose of the coin drill is to master your accuracy through your trigger control. And here we have three different firearms with three different styles of triggers. This is a Savage Mark II, a great rifle for beginners. It has a nice long trigger creep with a crisp break, which allows you to pull the trigger and really feel whether you're moving the muzzle or not. Here, I've got a shotgun. This is a Remington 870, great classic shotgun. and has a very stiff trigger, so I've got to work it and practice that trigger pull to become accurate. And lastly, I have my handgun. This is a SIG 226. Phenomenal handgun with a double action and a single action trigger which means you have two different modes you gotta work on and two different types of practice you wanna do. So let's start with rifles. This firearm I've already proved safe and it's one of our deactivated training guns. Now with your rifle, what you're gonna ultimately do is have a nice, long, slow trigger pull. You're gonna find the front of the trigger and squeeze all the way back with nice, even tempo, even pressure. So as I shoulder this gun, you'll see, I'll throw the safety off, find the trigger and give it nice, slow, even pressure until, bang. Reset the gun, try that again, find the trigger, slow, even pressure till it breaks. And that's sort of your idea in a rifle trigger pull slow, even pressure all the way through and make sure you have a nice crisp break without moving your sights. And here we have a shotgun. With shotguns shooting at a stationary target, ultimately your trigger squeeze is gonna be very similar to a rifle. A nice, slow, steady, even pressure. The only problem here is your shotgun trigger is much stiffer than your rifle is gonna be. So any sort of variance here, trigger pull, is gonna move your muzzle a little bit. So what you wanna see is a nice, slow, even pressure pull till breaks. And you'll see that again, find the trigger, significantly less travel and it will break. So with this, you don't have as much time to find that pressure, but you still want that slow, even, steady trigger pull. Last, we have our handgun. This here is a single action, double action handgun, which means it actually has two different styles of trigger pull. The first is the double action, where if you pull the trigger, it'll cock the hammer and fire. This is always gonna be a slightly heavier trigger, which means if you don't have a good, consistent, even pressure pull, you're never gonna be on target. So you'll see this here. As I squeeze the trigger, the first half of the trigger pull will cock the hammer. As I go through my break, it will fire. And this requires a fair bit of pressure. So if you don't have a nice, even, distinct squeeze, you're gonna move the muzzle all the way around. The other thing you'll see is this firearm also has a single action trigger. So after your first shot, as the hammer gets cocked, you have a much lighter trigger pull. This specific firearm has a lot of noticeable travel to the wall but once you hit that wall, nice, easy trigger squeeze. Now on to the coin drill itself. I'm gonna show you how to do the coin drill with a pistol here, but you can do it with any kind of firearm you have, with a rifle, with a shotgun, with a handgun. It's ultimately the same drill each time. What you need is a coin. I'm using a quarter here, because it's about just a little bit wider than the side of my gun, so it'll show me any movement in the firearm. So, all you need to do is once you've made sure your firearm's safe, balance the coin on your slide, find your trigger, squeeze it, nice, slow, steady, even pressure. If you notice your coin moves or drops off, 
gut movement in your muzzle, which means you have to adjust your trigger pull. So let's try that one more time. You'll see here, balance of the coin on the slide, find your trigger, slow, steady, even pressure squeeze. Perfect. Now with the double action trigger, this drill is actually gonna be significantly harder, but if you move the gun into single action, you'll find same drill, but now you have a nice long travel to your wall. And once you find that wall, nice slow squeeze till the trigger goes, click, right? Now my favorite variation on this drill is to rather than use a coin, use a spent casing. A spent casing has a higher center of gravity, which means as you balance it on the barrel of your, on the slide of your gun, you'll notice more deviance in it. Any sort of movement will cause it to move. So balance it on your slide, find your sight picture, find your sight alignment, nice, slow, steady squeeze. You see if it drops. Beautiful, nothing there. Then you try this again, reset the drill for a single action trigger, the casing on the slide, Good stance, good grip, and slow, steady, squeeze, click. Now what you're gonna start noticing in this casing is that it might bounce around a little on your slide, right? And if it starts bouncing to your left, probably means you're taking too much trigger. And what that means is your finger is way too far into your trigger guard. If it starts bouncing to your right, it often means that you're too far out. Now, if you're too high on your trigger or too low on your trigger, you're gonna cause movement in the muzzle up and down. So you kind of want to find the right spot for your finger where it meets with the trigger. So when you squeeze, you have a nice even pressure, no movement left or right, no movement up or down. And this is part of what this variation on the coin drill simulates. As you have the coin balanced, or the casing in this case balanced on the gun, as you squeeze, So ultimately what you're gonna do is keep resetting this drill, place your spent casing back on, side alignment, sight picture, and adjust your trigger squeeze until perfect. And then as you need, reset, practice, reset, practice until you perfect that trigger squeeze. If you've never seen this drill before, give it a shot. The coin drill is a great way to master your trigger control and will ultimately lead to better accuracy. If you've seen this before, I'm sure you have your own variations on this, and this is just a reminder to keep doing. As you practice more and more, you'll just get better with your trigger control. So wishing you all tight group mix.